What is going to be Dan on Buzzer checking out Broken Glass Ceiling from Mutoid Man? I guess the I guess the album cover makes sense for that. Mutoid Man. It's got mutants and stuff. I'm expecting stoner, very stoner vibes. Maybe an acid trip, mellow type of energy, judging by this. And because it comes from Matt, who, you know, usually gives me some of these outlandish stoner stuff. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, always just hit me up. You toy man. Oh, Jesus Christ. It sounds like a like a 90s NES game. Does it not? Like an early 90s NES game. Mutoid Man. Like Earthworm Jim, but Mutoid Man. Yeah, easy. Hell yeah, easily. Yeah. I'm surprised it wasn't. Talk to me. So much potential. Oh, on the other side. Crisis existential. That's just my goddamn pride. There we go. manic he gets the better it's gonna be the the random harsh vocals back to mellow always love when bands do that Tala did it a lot that's why I like them so much bands that do that excellent it's excellent This guy's a psycho. than I anticipated. I really, because this, it does have stoner-ish vibes to it, mixed throughout. 
Definitely some acid trip in there. Definitely acid trips or shroom vibes in there. Also, some psychedelics in there. Energy to it, but heavier than I expected by far in terms of the uh, the vocals mainly. Stuff, man, that was a ride. That was a ride. And again, I, I was wrong with what I what I said before and what I expected. There, this had no chill energy to it. Now, it, it did, again, it did have the psychedelics vibe. But besides that, I was wrong. It was a little. It was it was kind of all over the place too, which is what I expect from a lot of uh, Matt's things. The the lyrics, it's it's the manic energy, and it's like I, I think he's talking about in this song. That uh, he needs to like break a habit, probably a drug habit or something, before he can like get his shit together. <laughs> he even said one of the best, the best line in the song is, "Help him get his shit together, then you can talk to me about the weather." You know, like no one wants to hear that shit. But if you get if you help him get his shit together, you can kind of blab on about normal, pointless conversation all you like, all you like. And then you have the last third of the song. Straight harsh vocal, straight. I don't even know if I want to call it harsh vocal. More just like screams, rough yells. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Equal equals basically a harsh vocal, but there was more emotion to it. Good stuff. Not what I expected. Mutoid man. Yeah. The band not the band name might hurt the band a little, or help it, because the the name sets the bar kind of in the middle to low. But then the actual talent, especially of the singer, is above the name. Still a psycho, though. The guy's still clearly out of his gourd. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Mutoid man. Where the hell do you find these things? <laughs> what type of dark rabbit hole did you go down and found Mutoid man? Are you Mutoid man? What? what, what? Wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be surprised. Let me know what you guys think down below. A few minutes later. You know, I was thinking, why not just back to back it? Make it easier for everyone just to click. Mutoid man, memory hole. I just heard broken glass ceiling. Let's back to back it. Let's go. <laughs> what a fucking ride. Broken glass ceiling. Go right into it. Let's keep the momentum going. <laughs>
I can feel it. I can feel it coming. Come on. Let's go. They, if they have music videos, which they probably do, I bet they're crazy. They've got to be crazy. You got to kind of match it. But the guy, I, I bet they're crazy. I bet it's a whole bunch of just random shit going on. No. You almost asked me. Oh. Jesus Christ. I like this guy's energy. He's got a lot of it. Man's got a lot of energy. Really good yells, though. He, his harsh yells are really good. Well done. And they're different because they... I, I'm calling them harsh yells instead of a harsh vocal. Even though they technically are a harsh vocal. He puts uh, um, enough like emotion on it. It feels like a, like a, a yell instead. Like a, it's almost uncontrolled, even though he's clearly controlling it. It just feels like that way. It's a certain energy around it. I like it, man. Now, again, he's a psychopath. And I want to see what this fucking guy looks like. Because at the moment, I don't even know what I'm picturing. I'm not sure. But this one, this song, different vibe than the first one. Than uh, Broken Glass Ceiling. Broken Glass Ceiling, more, a little more chaotic, a little more manic. Up and down energy, in and out, up and down, all over the place type of thing. It fit for what it was uh, subject matter. Here, this was way more of a, like a, a normal song in the way it was put together. What was interesting is in the middle portion, like we had like a minute or so, like almost directly, it, it felt like at least right in the middle, where he was just doing like two bars of memory hole, but it wasn't the chorus. It's like normally you would do this and it would be your bridge. But this was like a prolonged bridge, but they put it right in the middle and then dropped the uh, solo, I think. And then the chorus came back. Interesting. The way they put it together. Fucking you toyed man. Now, I, I still... That is shocking. This, this wasn't like a SNES game or NES game. Maybe, maybe Genesis. Maybe. Play some Earthworm Jim. Some clay fighter, <laughs> well, uh, battle toads, mutoid man. Sounds like it fits right in. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think down below. If you are still here, a real one.